Hey guys, um, today I'm doing a video for a review on Team Viewer. It is a free remote desktop software you can use. As you see, you can um, create your own type of login and your own user ID and password. And you can even do an online account. All you just need is a valid email and you would be good to go. And here's all the list of computers I have set up for my online account that I could do remote desktop and you could even do your own custom login you could do um, through a, me a meeting or you could do remote control right now I'm going to do the remote desktop some of the main interesting features as you see for actions you got you could switch you could switch sides with your partner you could do control alt delete you can even lock the computer you could do a remote review re reboot or you can log off the system and when you go to view you're able to turn off the wallpaper or turn it back on you could even see the remote cursor Is the actual cursor with to see what they're where they're moving the cursor to on the screen. You can set the scaling. You can adjust the quality. I say we're gonna go to optimize for speed. Um, you can do your own custom settings. You got the screen resolution. You can edit, make your own settings. adjust the quality so we can get better speed this is an old computer and it has like 384 megabytes of RAM and then I'm using the Dell Dimension XPSD 500 you could even show do a video chat as you see my video is going to come up on the screen which is shows on the main computer we'll go ahead and stop the video tra transmission and I could um even do a voice over IP let's say we go to transmit audio and it's going to come through the computer speakers as you see go ahead and stop it. We got other people in the other room that could hear it. You could do a chat or a conference call. You can use it to transfer files, take screenshots, you can do a video recording. See look, this is a, a Windows 2000 computer which I'm use which is what I have it connected to. And I'm using Team Viewer 7. And I'll show you how tra file transferring works. As you see, it's pretty deep, nice. Go to File Transfer. Let's take this little image and drag it to the Documents area. Oops, I made a mistake. You can't do it too quick. You, you gotta do it. Nope. Put it in the wrong location. Let's go up one level. You gotta do it through the correct level can't put it too close to a folder because if you put it too close to a folder 
they'll put it in the wrong place. Go ahead and close out of it. Let's see if the image is there. I don't know if I did this right. There it is. The picture I found. You could even do it in full screen. I'll close the panel. Because somehow my webcam's still on. On my end. And one thing, interesting thing, you can e if you want to kick somebody off, you just hit the ban button. So this is my little short little review for Team Viewer, my little demonstration on how it works. It's pretty good remote desktop software you can use as an alternative to remote desktop on Windows. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this video.